Hello and welcome to the channel. This is your super easy quick guide on how to install Oxford heated grips. Cue the intro. So you've picked yourself up some Oxford heated grips. If you haven't, these ones are the cheap commuter ones. These are really reliable and known to be really good. Now the thing about these are is that you can pick them for all different prices, so do shop around, but I will put a link in the description for Amazon to make it easy for you to find them. But super easy, super quick. So this is your do-it-yourself guide, the quick guide to putting these grips on. So first things are first, you need to remove your handlebar end weights. They're on the end of your handlebars. They are normally removed with a Phillips screwdriver or an Allen key. You just undo that and you pop them out. With them removed, you then need to take your old grips off of your handlebars. Now there's two known methods to do this. One is to put a screwdriver slightly underneath one of the grips, spray some WD-40 and slide it off. The quick but please be careful way of doing it is to literally get a Stanley knife and literally cut along just pulling it off super super quick both are demonstrated but honestly just get the standing off come off you're never going to reuse those grips again so before you put your new grips on what you need to do is get some sandpaper and just take off any excess glue where your old grips used to be and the other thing you need to do is on your throttle side you may have a slight lip now you're going to need to remove that the best thing to do is get a, again a bit of sandpaper or sander and just take the edge of that sort of plastic away to make sure that it's a nice snug fit for the new grips to go on so what you next need to do is just wipe down the existing grips, get rid of any of that sandpaper, residue or any of that stuff, just make sure it's nice and clean. Once you've done that, go and grab your super glue that comes in your Oxford grips pack, put a little bit of super glue, we'll start with the throttle side, that's the right side grip, and then you get your grip and then you slowly wind it on, that takes quite a lot of force, don't be too scared to keep twisting it round to get it all the way up, then there should be another little lip that you'll see on the actual grip itself, slide it all the way up to that. The other side is a lot more easier because obviously it's shiny bare metal, again a little bit of glue on that, slide that all the way on until they're in place. With your grips on, make sure you put your handlebar weights back on the bike. The same way you took them off, either with the fillet screw or the Allen key, put them on, make sure they're nice and tight and secure. Next is the controller. Now it comes with like a universal mount that currently goes on your original switch gear. But what you wanna do is you wanna get the controller out, use the four little screws and attach the controller to the bracket and then attach the bracket onto your switch gear. Take out the two bolts, there is a spacer that you do put in and then you put that on and then hopefully it will all go on nice and smoothly. It's very universal, it's pretty much standard size so it should go on most bikes. If it doesn't, they do provide you with a sticky pad that you can stick it on but I generally recommend using the universal mount. And then what you need to do is locate your battery. This is normally underneath the seat of the bike, but it can also be in a side panel. What you do then is you get the cable that again is provided, you under your battery terminal, obviously plus is positive and negative is minus, connect your cable up. Once you've connected your cable up, what you want to do is then run it along underneath the tank, hide the cable away, make sure it's not touching any of the engine or anything like that. On most bikes there is guides where you'll see the main loom go through, try and get it into there and feed it through all the way to the handlebars. Next you're going to connect all the cables together, so you're going to go to the control unit, you're going to then plug in the grips, these are quite simple and quite easy, they're both the same connectors, you'll see two for them and then there's another connector that's the other way around that will connect into your power socket. Connect all of these three cables together. So next you want to tidy up your cables and what you use is a plastic tie or a rubber tie to be able to do this. The one important thing to remember is on the throttle side you need a little bit of slack. So what you want to do is make sure that when you're tidying up against the handlebars, make sure you leave a little bit of slack, make sure you can turn that throttle and that cable's not in the way or catching anything at all. With all of your cables tidied away, put your seat back on or your side panel back on to cover up your battery and that is it, you are done. On the controller, there is two settings. There is a green for low and there is red for high. Switch your bike on, start it up, put it on high, put your hands on those grips and feel the warmth. So that is it. That is your heated grips installed on your bike. That simple, that quick, and you did it yourself. Now you can go out and enjoy some beautiful riding. If this really helped you out, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. This channel is Everything Motorcycles, crazy adventures, how-to guys, just loads and loads of stuff to do with bikes. 
Anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye for now.